The AN-225 is the giant of the Antonov Design Bureau. Replacing the AN-124 Condor as the world's largest aircraft, the 225 has a cargo capacity for loads up to 250 feet long by 32 feet in diameter and weighing up to 550,000 pounds. The immense cargo bay features a built-in overhead traveling crane for handling large and odd-shaped cargo such as completely assembled drilling rigs. The hard points on top of the aircraft are specifically designed for transportation of the Soviet space shuttle, booster rocket, and external fuel tanks. The Soviets are offering the AN-225 for commercial charter to international customers requiring oversized and heavyweight airlift capacity. To give you an idea of how big this aircraft is, the C-5 Galaxy fully loaded weighs 769,000 pounds. The AN-225 grosses at an amazing 1,322,770 pounds. The 225 has a wingspan of 290 feet and an overall length of 275 feet. The six Lotarev D18 turbofan engines screaming to life here yield a total static thrust in excess of 300,000 pounds. The massive landing gear required to support the enormous weight of the 225 comprises 32 wheels on 14 trucks and three castering bogies. The amazing Antonov AN-225. The Antonov AN-225 was designed to carry immense loads, either inside its vast cargo hold or mounted on top of the fuselage. One of its most important potential loads was the Soviet space shuttle, the Buran. It could be used to carry the Buran piggyback fashion in the same way Boeing 747s had been used to carry the American Space Shuttle for atmospheric testing and for transport to and from the launch site. The combination of the giant AN-225 and the Buran was shown to the Western world for the first time at the 1989 Paris Air Show. By that time, the first AN-225 had been test flying for six months. The Buran was mounted on the back of the AN-225 for the first time in May 1989 at the Baikonur Cosmodrome. Buran was the name of the Soviet Union's first shuttle orbiter.
At the time it flew to the Paris Air Show on the back of the AN-225, Soviet authorities were debating whether one or two further shuttle orbiters would be built. The Buran made the Soviet Union's first unmanned shuttle test mission in November 1988. Originally, before the AN-225 became available, it was transported on the back of a converted Myashishchev M4 bomber. Carrying the shuttle orbiter was not the only purpose of the AN-225. It was an all-out effort by the Soviet Union to consolidate its lead in the design and construction of giant transport aircraft. <laughs> 